Hey Stampers, it's Megan from MyLivePaperCrafts.com. I'm here today with a quick, simple stamping video to show you how to take your sponges and some punch shapes and make this delightful little sponge background. And if you're interested in the pinwheel, I'll put a link at the end of this video showing you um, how to actually put together the pinwheel. And then the rest of the details in the card are free, pretty straightforward. We're just going to tear this, do a little bit of stamping, and then assemble this together. But let me go ahead and show you this background. So what you're going to need for the background is we're just going to take a piece of cardstock which is five by three and three quarters because we've matted it on the card and then onto some whisper white. Then you're going to take some chipboard and this is the chipboard that comes out of the back of the design designer series paper packages and I've punched it with the two and the largest of the scallop circles and then the scallop oval. And then you're also just going to need a good hunk of sponge and some marina mist ink. So let's get started. Do your sponge clouds, it is very random. So all you're going to do is take the piece of chipboard and that's going to act as a mask. Then you're going to take your sponge, you're going to ink it up. I really want to be close so you can see the sponging here. And I really like using this type of sponge versus a sponge dauber. So it's going to give you a little more texture. Then you're just going to randomly move the mask. Right now, this really does not look like much, but it'll start coming together in a minute. So you see that's starting to take shape. Then I'm going to take the oval one and just go back through here to give this just a little more, some different shape. And every time it's going to look a little bit different, so don't get too stuck on the result. And you'll just keep sponging. And I'm going to actually do a little bit more sponging up here. I should call this the quick cloud method. It's not terribly scientific. And I always like sponging. It's very therapeutic. Isn't stamping supposed to be relaxing? And we're going to take this little guy, we're going to go back to the oval. And don't you, can't you see how that texture is coming together? And now I think some of these clouds are a little too big, so I'm just going to go back here. And maybe take this one, so I used the scallop oval originally on that. And then maybe just fill in a couple of spots. And I'm not really going to worry about this part too, too much, because that is the part that's going to get covered up. So now you can see we have our sponge cloud background. That's just going to go onto your card and you're going to attach on your pinwheel, your grass, and that's it. Super, super simple and lots of impact. I guarantee you get lots of wows when you do a sponge cloud background. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need any of the supplies shown here today, you can shop in my online store, which there'll be a link. Look, my nails are done today, so I waggle them around. There'll be a link right there. And if you want to see more videos like this with simple stamping secrets and tips and things that are just going to make stamping so much easier but do not cause you a lot of stress, really take advantage of the time you have to spend stamping, uh, subscribe to this channel and you'll get more videos just like this. Anyways, thanks for checking it out. Take care. Bye.